we're back for the third part. We've got Iron Arm Moon Studios. The crotch area of our Raiden. Finally got him. So the box looks nice. Product shots and all that. And when you do get him, he comes in his combined mode part. A few parts out for you there, but okay. But for this video, we are starting off in train mode. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a big train mode. Very nice indeed. Yep, the gun up there, which is the combined road gun. Right. So it's a nice, very lovely orange train. Very panel heavy in this section here. Trust me, it's annoying, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> yeah, very nice train. Again, roll. These things spare around if you don't lock them in. I do, don't. Yeah, not much else to talk about. He is the longest one of the three so far. And I'll put the other two in their fucking combined modes because we're going to show that off as well. Yeah, not much else to talk about. Let's get the transformation. So, this whole section here you have to untab. The orange section will untab. And then the middle section right here, untab. You're on the same side, I like that. <laughs> you under here, and you untab this. These out of the way. You put these down completely out of the way. And you get the top here, this section. You untab both sides. And untab these <laughs> from front section. Like a lot of panels. See, I wasn't kidding when I said this is panel heavy. Okay. <laughs> and that will just untab from this. No. God damn. <laughs> So all these parts just get in the way, but still I like this. Just okay. Tab these sections in here so you don't have to pull them out. Oh. There, <laughs> untap all that. Lower the leg down. Good side. Oh. Oh. God. Damn. Get all this out of the way. In here they all connect together. I can. You want to get these out of the way so you can do that. <laughs> and then I'll Peg in the crotch. Um, both sides. And there's the crotch area done. <laughs> oh boy. This is fun, I tell you that. Anyway. Let's focus on this top section. We'll do the legs last. It's very easy to do. Get these sections out of the way so you can flip the head around. Get the section back up. And. Ooh. <laughs> you want to, there's a double hinge in here. You want to extend the arm out. Untab the arm and fold it out. Oh, Jesus. Fold it up so I can get into here and show you all this stuff. Now these, now if you want to rotate in, same time pegging them in together. Oh, this is going to be off camera because, oh my god, there's so much going on at one time. <laughs> these two valves stuck together. Fold it up by pegging into these terms here. Ah, one Okay, something like that. So you pretty much fold this up, then this these little panels on the end here you want to fold up, and this will fold into here. 
like so. And that's all you pretty much do for that. The other side done quickly. Get why this thing has to be so tiny, but oh my god, oh, it's in the way. Okay. <laughs> Keep it over there. Using this panel, fold it up, and then it will peg into the slot right there. Fold these up and tab the sides into the actual sides here. You want to do a front and back. <laughs> and now the arms will slot over the yarn sections here. Like so, and holding it all into place. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> okay, let's get this pack pack done. This thing took me a while when I first did it. So you want to get the backpack in a way sideways like this, then Fold the panels over, like that, and now fold it in, both sides, and this panel will fold around. <laughs> These stems are on, you gotta get them facing right way so you can peg both of these together. And I don't know if done this one wrong. And now these will peg together, and that's fun <laughs> to do. Give me a sec. Backpack looking like that, and now just peg into the two tabs here. Like so. There's its backpack done. Now let's get the hands out. That's fun to do because the tab that holds them in is very strong. Flip it out. One. <laughs> Got 
Got it. Okay, this is enough stretching bit. Now let's get the legs on. So what? Rotate the thighs. That's a good snap because that means it's suck tight joints in there. Okay, you want to come around the back here? Hold the wheels up. And I kid you not, these wheels you need like a flathead screwdriver or something just to pry them out. Anyway, I'm going to flip the wheel section here out. Well, now, uh, and also these fronts here, you want to unpeg. So now, like that, so you can now extend the legs, open the legs out, and now deal with all of this. A little panel on the here you want to flip out. Let's rotate this to the side so you can now flip out the foot completely around, and just fold that like that for now, because we need to do other stuff. Which may be flipping this panel around, folding this all down and into an L shape, flipping the panel back up and then pegging it into place. Make sure everything is in position. <laughs> Don't show it better on this one. So rotate this panel completely around, grab the stem here, unpeg it. And fold it all down like that. Fold it in. Make sure the stem goes into the uh, leg. This will rotate around so the wheels go into the leg, and that will peg back in. And this will peg back up there for the foot. Fold it down and tap it in. There's the other foot. Right, give me a moment. I'll be right back with the other one. Okay, done. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and, oh. and there we have Iron Trap Iron Arm in his robot mode. Ooh, it's very nice. Very nice of Tallest one so far. He does have has his own individual gun. <laughs> Just on top of the big gun. You can use this big gun on him as well if you want. I generally don't because it kinda looks stupid. <laughs> Yes, you can hold it very well, nicely, like the others, nice little slot, and there. So, proposability, head's ball jointed, arms can go up and down, out as well, but, oh boy that fucking match it. There is a swivel just below this elbow, but it's a double elbow transformation. Wrist and fingers are simple. Ball joints and hinges, all of them. And that's it. There is a bit of a waist, but very limited. Then recently, in and out, forward, and back, jeez. Scribble. Nice elbow and bit of a pivot. Sorry, that's it. But he's still good. Now, let's get into combined mode, shall we? Oh boy. How do I start this? <laughs> I'm probably going to need these instructions. Hmm. I see, I see, I see. So we do the legs a little last, it looks like. Do the top area first. So you want to flip the hands back away. Do the hands in the right way or it won't close. <laughs> It's fun. Ow. And 
it's going to be a long process. So bear with me. Okay. Under pretty much everything up here. Oh, Jesus. That's a new one. Oh, God. Just fell apart, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> taking the whole check section here, undoing everything. That's sad. Arms like now, so you can fold the head back away. Fold the arms up completely. Oh, come on. Where's right the arms? So, the uh, what would be the lights and stuff facing that ones. That will peg into place We're using the tabs there. One. Get. I'm so glad I'm going to do this thing once. Get this out. This up. Now these things will become the side. Now, how do I do this? These. This that should peg into the side somehow. Yes, there it is. Keep the orange on the inside of the arm. The only thing that ruins it pretty much all these panels just getting in the way a lot. Falls down there it should. Yeah. <laughs> now I won't put these all together because we got to get this leg section area done with. So, the crotches, and then these up back out. Hold, hold the crotches out, they can put away. Connect the legs back up together. Now tab this section back in into the crotch now. Wait, you have to do something with. No. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. This whole fucking thing is coming apart on me. Try to fix this. 
Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, so you have to... Oh. Okay. So pretty much the... What was the little chess pieces? Oh, yeah. So these things here, you have to rotate up so you can get a bit of possibility in the way it's called. But seeing this keeps falling apart, I'm going to have to at some point get in there and put in some super glue. Yeah, these fall out and now we're making the hip skirts. And these panels will just fold in like that. It should. Peg into the U slots here and into each other. So do one at a time. Something's not working on me. See, so one won't peg in. The other one wants to peg in. I'm going to come back to this. Okay, I got the front. It's <laughs> just having a bit of force applied just to get this thing to work so that I peg in. Okay, thanks. There's a little panel on the side here. Unclip. And it will fold up like so. Up and just rest there. Thank you. Look a bit nicer. Pretty much, you're undoing everything out we did. <laughs> I mean, literally, you're just undoing everything. Put these back out. I'm gonna flip this little thing around. Put these back around. And pull the feet back up. Rotate it around and fold it back in because you want to get the feet here into this slot. And it's best done now. Uh, moving the feet uh, and that look like that. Rip that back up, and now we just fold everything back around it. And everything will peg into place. <laughs> Holding it together. Right. But you have to move the black stamps here in a way so they can peg into the side of the card. Both sides. Easier to end down some sides because sometimes you just don't want to go in. And fold the wheel around and fold it. <laughs> and 
And there's the fire area. So pretty much for when you put in a leg right duck with the wheels on the ins <laughs> wheels in. Anyway, fold this all back up. These are die cast metal, these joints. Ooh. And I can't last long. Alright. Get in there. <laughs> and thighs and stomach area. The you know, last thing to do is connect the legs up. See how this goes. Uh, oh, I see how you do it. Okay. So for these guys, you want to separate the this section out a bit. So you can then slide this all in. And that will... Peg back in, and that's a solid connection. What's this? Ooh, okay. So let me try that again. <laughs> Fuck, it's heavy. <laughs> so you open this section up, so you can fit the big one into there, so it'll slide in, and there's two ones behind that. It'll slide in and go into those crevices there. So, the angle, slide it in. Oh, I like everything's starting to come apart a bit. It's like, I accidentally closed it, that's right. It's not in. Oh, yeah, everything's starting to come apart, oh god. Thing. Yeah, I got it. Put this panel back on. And, oh, Jesus Christ. And oh, there's our lower section. Jesus Christ, he's gonna be mastered. Oh God, <laughs> I'm liking this so far. I'm really liking this. Oh wait, right, something's come undone. It's just this guy is good. Just the panel's a bit annoying, and these black wrap, these rackers on the side of his legs are very annoying to deal with as well. But. I would recommend grabbing this set, because look at it so far. I need to put them down. Jesus. Oh yeah. Look at this. It's almost as tall as this monitor I have here. Oh boy. And yeah. I recommend going. Oh, I forgot to show this off. You also don't want to come to this. This is a little connector. So you can connect to the train tool. And they are magnetic. I'm not going to do it because I don't risk chipping the paint because a bit of a warning. Get you down here. His chest, these two chest pieces on these guys are actually chipping a bit, so be careful. Be very careful. I don't want. I don't see But yeah, I'll see you all next time for something. Who knows?